I'm going to first present the study protocol of the PSMA PET randomized study we're doing in patients with high risk uh, prostate cancer who are scheduled to undergo radiation therapy. A little bit of background on that. You may be aware that PSMA PET has been FDA approved recently in December 2020 at UCLA and UCSF, and more PSMA PET agents are being in their way, are going on their way for regulatory approval with the FDA. So PSMA PET will be more and more available and implemented in clinical practice within the next years, that's for sure. One question that comes often is, okay, PSMA PET is a good diagnostic tool. PSMA PET is more sensitive and more specific than the others. But what, what is the impact at the end on the outcome of patient? Does it really help to better treat the patients? And of course, we don't have data on that yet because uh, the PSMA PET technology was implemented only a few years ago. And to get mature data on the outcome of patients, this will take time, many years before we can really evaluate the impact on the patient survival and outcomes uh, of this new technology. So we have designed a trial here at UCLA that will randomize patients scheduled to undergo definitive radiation therapy for their high-risk prostate cancer. So they are treatment naive, they, they are initial staging. And one, will, one group will be where a patient get the scan, the PSMA PET scan, that may or may not impact the radiation therapy plans, that may or may not impact the selection for uh, the radiotherapy intent and scheduling, because if you see disease outside of the pelvis, maybe the radiation oncologist will say, uh, you're not eligible for definitive radiation therapy anymore. May happen, we'll see. And the other group will be uh, based on the standard of care without the PS method. We'll follow the two groups for five years, and we'll see at the end if there is really a difference or not between the patients who did the scan and the patients who did not do the scan in terms of outcome. The main outcome will be the PSA. You know, we cannot gather much more than that. Uh, and in that early stage setting, in five years, maybe we could do study in 10 years to get the radiographic and overall survival. Uh, but the first main endpoint would be based on PSA. So that's our first trial. It is currently ongoing. We face some difficulty because um, the randomization, usually patients, they just want to get the scan. They don't want to be randomized to the control group. The usual issue with... Uh, appealing technology or new treatments and the randomized trial where patients don't want to get in the control. But we are recruiting and uh, we hope that we will have uh, good data from, from this. 